years before 1977, when George Lucas started writing Star Wars. Most people didn't believe his film had any potential. Lucas approached United Artists with a pitch for a space opera called Star Wars. The studio rejected the idea, and Lucas went on to make American Graffiti before returning to his Star Wars project two years later. After tinkering with the story, Lucas wrote a 13-page treatment for the project and presented it this time to Universal Pictures, who similarly rejected it, deemed it too strange and complaining that science fiction wasn't popular enough at the time to merit such an expensive film. Even after the film was eventually picked up by 20th Century Fox and it was time to shoot, nobody else believed George Lucas was with his senses. The crew and the actors doubted if anyone in the world would like such a movie, so much that Lucas himself became very frustrated and was diagnosed with hypertension. But Lucas was willing to take the risk, went on with the film anyway, released Star Wars in the year 1997 and the world accepted it. Today, Star Wars had generated billions of dollars in the worldwide sales, but it all started when a man decided to take the risk despite doubt from everyone else. You see, Muhammad Ali said, He who is not courageous enough to take risk will accomplish nothing in life. Most people in our world today love to be sure that something would work out fine before they venture into it. So many young people are so careful that they avoid anything that tends to lead them to failure. The problem with waiting for some assurance or certainty before you step out is that great things only go to the people who are courageous enough to dare the world of the unknown. George Lucas didn't know that Star Wars would be successful. He only followed his gods. Wright brothers knew that many people have died trying to fly a plane, yet they continued trying. John D. Rockefeller wasn't sure that oil would remain under the soil for a long time, yet he bet all his life on oil. Henry Ford had lost at least three businesses before Ford Motor Company succeeded. That company would have failed too, and he would have been in great debt. Show me any significant success you know today, which wasn't as a result of someone betting his life. Stepping out of what it takes, taking actions despite some doubt, is what it takes. Forging ahead, despite the possibility of failure, is what it takes to succeed in life. He who was not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. There once was a criminal who was sent to a king for committing a crime. The king was going to punish the criminal. He gave the criminal two choices, get hung on a rope or open a big black scary door and accept whatever was behind it. Apparently, this was a no-brainer for the criminal. He chose the rope. After the loop was secured around his neck, the criminal asked the king, out of curiosity, what's behind the big black door? Funny, you ask, said the king. Everyone picks the rope and then asks what's behind the door. So what's there? asked the criminal. Freedom, answered the king and kicked the stool under the criminal's feet. If you look at our world today, you'll notice that everyone wants freedom, but only a few ever have true freedom. What do you think those few people did? Well, they risked captivity to look for freedom. Everyone today wants to be rich, but only a few have financial freedom. What do you think this financially free people did differently? Well, they risked poverty. They dared life. They forwent a safe and secure world. Some of them ventured into businesses and risked everything they had when they could easily get someone to pay them each month by getting a job. Some of us left school without any degree, jumped into the harsh and terrible world, made tens and hundreds of mistakes before we figured out how to succeed. He who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. Aristotle said, You will never do anything in this world without courage. It is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor. You will never achieve anything worthwhile except you are courageous enough to step out even when there is no assurance of success. You must be bold enough to step out. You must be bold enough to take actions. You must be bold enough to try again and again, even after you've failed, because without your courage and willingness to dare life, you'll never achieve anything worthwhile in life. He who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. Thanks for watching. My name is Steve Courage. I'm a Nigerian entrepreneur 
and you can join my personal channel right here on the screen or at the description below. I love you.